200 years ago, a long-haired buckskin wearing explorer packed his supplies and headed out to the Ohio River. But this was not your normal explorer, because he was packing art supplies, and his goal was to paint all the birds in North America. I'm Miss Karshner, and this is the 5-Minute Museum. Sean Rabin was born in 1785 on the island of Hispaniola. Today we call that island Haiti. He was the son of a ship captain, and when he was three, he was moved to France and raised by his stepmother. When he was 18, France was at war with England, and to keep him from being drafted into Napoleon's army, Jean's parents sent him to America. On the ship, Jean decided to change his name. And when he arrived in Philadelphia, he called himself John James Audubon. Audubon spent most of his time hunting, exploring the wilderness of Pennsylvania, and studying the wildlife, mostly the birds. After a few years, he moved to Louisville, Kentucky, and opened a general store. At first, his store did really well, and Audubon made a lot of money. But he began spending more time studying the birds and less time in his business, and his business failed. But now that he wasn't working, Audubon had plenty of time to go out in the wilderness and explore, drawing the birds and their habitats. He kept a journal where he would draw or write and he took notes about how the birds acted, where they lived, and what they ate. Sometimes he even brought them home so that he could look closely at them while he painted. I don't think Mrs. Audubon was crazy about that idea. Audubon decided to paint all the birds in North America. So in 1820, he packed his art supplies into a boat and headed down the Ohio River to the Mississippi. He made money selling portraits along the way, and when he got to New Orleans, he sent for his wife and his sons. In the field, Audubon made quick chalk sketches in his journal. He drew action poses and small detailed sketches. His life-size watercolor paintings show a split second in the life of the birds. Many of them show movement as they fly or they fight or they hunt for food. Audubon created over 430 life-size paintings and he wanted to turn his collection into a book. But recreating paintings for books was expensive and it was hard to do and Audubon couldn't get it done in America. So he took his paintings to Scotland and England. The dramatic poses and the beautiful details, along with him in his buckskin clothes and the adventures of the wilderness in America made him an overnight success. Everybody loved him and they loved his paintings. It took four giant books to hold all of Audubon's paintings. When he came home, he began working on the mammals of North America and his sons helped him finish that book. Audubon never went to school to study birds. He didn't go to school to study drawing or painting, but his watercolor paintings show so many details in the textures and the patterns and the colors that he is the standard we use to judge all other wildlife artists. Want to see more of Audubon's work? Go to Louisville to the Audubon State Park. His home site is now a museum. Or go to Cincinnati to the Art Museum. If you can't make it there in person, you can always check out their virtual gallery online. To see all 430 of Audubon's paintings, you need to go to audubon.org forward slash birds of America. See you next time in the museum.